children, and with that desire she came to kill Krishna. But because she offered her breast to the Lord, she attained the greatest achievement. What then is to be said of those who had natural devotion and affection for Krishna as mothers and who offered him their breast to suck or offered something very dear as a mother offers something to a child? Purport. Putana had no affection for Krishna. Rather, she was envious and wanted to kill him. Nonetheless, because with or without knowledge she offered her breast, she attained the highest achievement in life. But with the offerings of devotees attracted to Krishna in parental love, but the offerings of devotees attracted to Krishna in parental love are always sincere. A mother likes to offer something to her child with affection and love. There is no question of envy. So here we can make a comparative study. If Putana could attain such an exalted position in spiritual life by neglectfully, enviously making an offering to Krishna, what is to be said of Mother Yashoda and the other gopis who served Krishna with such great affection and love, offering everything for Krishna's satisfaction? The gopis automatically achieve the highest perfection. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommended the affection of the gopis either in maternal affection or in conjugal love as the highest perfection in life. Ramya kachidu pasana vrajavidu vargina vakalpita. 38. The Supreme Personality of God in Krishna is always situated within the core of the heart of the pure devotee and he has always offered prayers by such worshipable personalities as Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva. Because Krishna embraced Putana's body with great pleasure and sucked her breast, although she was a great witch, she attained the position of a mother in the transcendental world and thus achieved the highest perfection. Narendra, did you hear that? What then is to be said of the cows whose nipples Krishna sucked with great pleasure and who offered their milk very jubilantly with affection exactly like that of a mother? Purport, this these verses explain how devotional service rendered to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, whether directly or indirectly, knowingly or unknowingly, becomes successful. Putana was neither a devotee nor a non-devotee. She was actually a demoniac witch, instructed by Kamsa to kill Krishna. Nonetheless, in the beginning she assumed the form of a very beautiful woman and approached Krishna exactly like an affectionate mother, so that Mother Yashoda and Rahini did not doubt her sincerity. The Lord took all this into consideration, and thus she was automatically promoted to a position like that of Mother Yashoda. As explained by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, there are various roles one may play in such a position. Putana was immediately promoted to Vaikuntaloka, which is also sometimes described as Swarga. The swarga mentioned in this verse is not the material heavenly planet, but the transcendental world. In Vaikuntha Loka, Putana attained the position of a nurse, Datruchitam, as described by Uddhava. Putana was elevated to the position of a nurse and maidservant in Goloka Vrindavan to assist Mother Yashoda. Everyone's on the edge of their seat. Translation, the Supreme Personality of God in Krishna is the bestower of many benedictions, including liberation, kaivalya, or oneness with the Brahman effulgence. For that personality of God, the gopis always felt maternal love, and Krishna sucked their breasts with full satisfaction. Therefore, because of their relationship as mother and son, although the gopis were engaged in various family activities, one should never think that they returned to this material world after leaving their bodies. Purport, the advantage of Krishna consciousness is described herein. Krishna consciousness gradually develops on the transcendental platform. One may think of Krishna as the supreme personality. One may think of Krishna as the supreme master. One may think of Krishna as the supreme friend. One may think of Krishna as the supreme son. One may think of Krishna as the supreme conjugal lover. If one is connected with Krishna in any of these transcendental relationships, the course of one's material life is understood to have already ended. As confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 4.9, Tyaktva Deham Punar Janma Naiti Maameti, 
For such devotees, going back home, back to Godhead, is guaranteed. Na puna kalpate rajan sangsaro gyanasam babaha. This verse also guarantees that devotees who constantly think of Krishna in a particular relationship will never return to this material world. In this material world, sangsara, there are the same relationships. One thinks, here's my son, here's my wife, here's my lover, or here's my friend. But these relationships are temporary illusions. Ajnana-sambhava. Such a consciousness awakens in ignorance. But when the same relationships awaken in Krishna consciousness, one's spiritual life is revived and one is guaranteed to return home back to Godhead. Even though the gopis who were friends of Rohini and Mother Yashoda and who allowed their breasts to be sucked by Krishna were not directly Krishna's mothers, they all had the same chance as Rohini and Yashoda to go back to Godhead and act as Krishna's mothers-in-law, servants, and so on. The word sangsara refers to attachment from one's body, home, husband, or wife, and children. But although the gopis and all the other inhabitants of Vrindavan had the same affection and attachment for husbands and home, their central affection was for Krishna in, this, in some transcendental relationship and therefore they were guaranteed to be promoted to Goloka Vrindavan in the next life, to live with Krishna eternally in spiritual happiness. The easiest way to attain spiritual elevation, Ramananda Sakha, are you listening? He, then he's listening also in there. The easiest way to attain spiritual elevation, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> All right, class is over, let's go. <laughs> The easiest way <laughs> tune in next week. The easiest way to attain spiritual elevation, to be liberated from the material world and go back home, back to Godhead, is recommended by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Krishnera Shankara Karacharyanachar. One should give up all sinful activities and remain in the family of Krishna. Then one's liberation is guaranteed. Go pray, Manande Arivo! <laughs> Text number 41. Upon smelling the fragrance of the smoke, there he is. He heard it. Okay, you stay in the family of Krishna. <laughs> Upon smelling the fragrance of the smoke emanating from Putana's burning body, many inhabitants of Brajabhumi in distant places were astonished. Where is this fragrance coming from, they asked. Thus they went to the spot where Putana's body was being burnt. Purport, the aroma of the smoke emanating from a burning fire is not always very favorable. Therefore, upon smelling such a wonderful fragrance, the inhabitants of Raja were astonished. When the inhabitants of Raj, who had come from distant places, heard the whole story of how Putana had come and then been killed by Krishna, they were certainly astonished. And they offered their blessings to the child for his wonderful deed of killing Putana. Nanda Maharaj, of course, was very much obliged to Vasudev, who had foreseen the incident and simply thanked him, thinking how wonderful Vasudev was. O Maharaj Prikshit, best of the Kurus, Nanda Maharaj was very liberal and simple. He immediately took his son Krishna on his lap, as if Krishna had returned from death, and by formally smelling his son's head, Nanda Maharaj undoubtedly enjoyed transcendental bliss. Purport, Nanda Maharaj could not understand how the inhabitants of his house had allowed Putana to enter the house, nor could he imagine the gravity of the situation. He did not understand that Krishna had wanted to kill Putana and that his pastimes were, were performed by Yogamaya. Nanda Maharaj simply thought that some, someone had entered his house and created havoc. This was Nanda Maharaj's simplicity. Text 44. Any person who hears with faith and devotion about how Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, had killed Putana, and who thus invests his hearing in such childhood pastimes of Krishna, certainly attains attachment for Govinda, the Supreme, original person. This verse says, Ya etat Putana moksham, Krishna syarbakam adbutam, shunu yach shradhaya martyo, Govinde labateiratim. Nice verse, right? I'll say the word for word. Ya. 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 Anyone who. Anyone who. Etat. Etat. 
this. Putana moksham. Salvation of Putana. Krishna sya. Of Krishna are become the childhood pastimes. Adbhutam. Wonderful. Shunuyat. Should hear. Shudhaya. With faith and devotion. Martyaha. Any person within this material world. Govinde. For the Supreme Person. Govinda. Adi Purusha. Labate. Gains. Ratim. Attachment. Any person who hears with faith and devotion about how Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, had killed Putana and who thus invests his hearing in such childhood pastimes of Krishna certainly attains attachment for Govinda, the Supreme Original Person. Purport. The incident in which the great witch attempted to kill the child but was killed herself is certainly wonderful. Therefore, this verse uses the word adbhutam, meaning specifically wonderful. Krishna has less, left us many wonderful narrations about him. Simply by reading these narrations as they are described in Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one gains salvation from this material world and gradually develops attachment to and devotion for Govinda, Adi Purusha. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purports of the 10th canto, 6th chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled The Killing of the Demon Putana. And uh, the most uh, effective kind of sacrifice one can perform in the age of Kali Yuga is simply hear the pastimes of the Lord and chant Hare Krishna. Then all problems flee. And from within the core of the heart, Krishna uh, will um, awaken our love for God. He'll also... Uh, destroy all the anartas that are lurking in the, in the heart, all the dirty things in the heart, just by hearing the pastimes of the Lord. So let the pastimes of Krishna go on constantly in one's home, in one's car, at the office, uh, tell them to everybody at Oracle and Intel and Apple. Everyone should hear about Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who killed Putana. Go pray, manande, adibo! Narendra. Yes. Uh, in, in this verse which you just recited and uh, it says Putana Moksha and uh, what I had the understanding always the, the enemies they get Moksha and they don't get Bhakti. There is a difference still. See so you're exhibiting the bhav of Sarvabhama Bhattacharya. <laughs> yeah. and see what happened Sarvabhama Bhattacharya in the beginning was a Mayavadi and he was very much attached to Moksha. And after he was converted by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's great mercy upon him. He, he changed his heart. He converted him to a pure Vaishnava. He melted his heart by his association. Afterwards, when Sarvabhoma, the great scholar, met up with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he, he complained to him. He lodged a complaint about the Srimad Bhagavatam. He said this verse, Tate anukam pam susamikshamano bunjane eva mercritam vipakam tridvagma purvir vidavrandamaste jiveta yo mukti sade sadayabak pade sadayabak. He, he heard mukti and he thought, this will never do. <laughs> this mukti, it, 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 it struck fear in his heart thinking of the. Uh, annihilation of the relationship between Krishna and the soul when the when a person attains moksha or mukti and merges into the Lord's existence and his relationship is permanently obscured. And uh, this is very uh, disheartening to devotees to, to hear this or even think of it. And so when he, after his conversion to, uh, you know, his heart melted in bhakti, when he heard that, he said to Mahaprabhu, this verse the thing about this mukti, we should change it to bhakti. <laughs> and Mahaprabhu first thing, uh, Bhattacharya, you can't change the Bhagavatam. <laughs> and second thing, this is uh, mukti pari. You have to think of it in terms of this kind of liberation means actually attaining the perfection of, of devotional service uh, by serving Krishna. And, and one of the 
uh, relationships to him. This, this is a kind of liberation that's referred to also. It doesn't always mean moksha. It doesn't just mean that you've merged into, into the oneness. So um, you're exhibiting that same mood, being uh, abhorring. The devotees abhor the idea of, of moksha, the impersonalism. And this is the, the root cause of material existence. There's a vacantness of heart. Prabhupada mentions this in the Bhagavad Gita. Those who uh, become mayavad or tinged by mayavad, their hearts become vacant. But by hearing Krishna Kata and associating with Vaishnavs who are full of juice, pure Vaishnavs are, are so attractive. Uh, first of all, they're unpredictable. Pure Vaishnavs are unpredictable. You don't know what they're going to do. You can't predict because... Uh, they're engaged in, internally in Krishna's pastimes, and therefore it is said that you can't understand the, vi- the mind of a Vaishnava. And uh, in my you know, short life and experience, just seeing the pure Vaishnavas that I've seen, it's like they're all attractive. Their skin's attractive, the way they move is attractive, everything about them is attractive. Prabhupada was all attractive. I mean, there was just something utterly attractive by him, and it's so sweet. And also uh, simple, simple, a kind of simplicity. This is bhakti, simple bhakti. And so if we get the association of devotees who are simple and that uh, they simply have this love for Krishna, causeless love for Krishna, then, then we, our hearts can change. Actually, we, we can feel like that also. We become attached to them. When we become attached to pure Vaishnavs, then, then we also become attached to Krishna. Because the devotee is always attached to Krishna. And when we're attached to the devotee, then Krishna uh, becomes attached to us also. What to speak if we serve such a person? If we serve such a person, then guaranteed. This is actually the root cause of bhakti, is to serve the pure devotees of the Lord, to hear from pure devotees of the Lord, to see them, to touch their body, somehow or the render service to a pure devotee of the Lord. Then you get uh, perfection of life. And... This means the heart becomes um, melted and it becomes full of, of uh, it's not vacant. It's full of compassion, tichikshava karunika, surida sarvadehinam, ajatra shatravashanta, sarava sharabhushana. The, the pure devotees are decorated with all good qualities because uh, they, they're qualitatively one with Krishna. They have these qualities of Krishna. And uh, so we, we aspire for that, to uh, hear from Krishna's pure devotees, to serve them, to hear Krishna's pastimes and such. And we abhor the idea of, of this um, moksha, impersonal moksha or mukti and so on. But in any case, it's referred to in Sanskrit, the, the moksha, giving up the body. This is a kind of idea that the bodies, when the bodies broken and you, you move on. This is also a kind... Yes? Just one pastime came to my mind, Prabhuji, quickly. Uh, my brother-in-law was sharing this. Uh, once all Prabhupada devotees were sharing their realization and they, they were giving different reasons how they came into Krishna consciousness. And um, one of the devotees said that um, he's a very young boy and he said that the reason why he came to Krishna consciousness is he, when he saw Prabhupada for the first time, he really thought that there is no one beautiful than Prabhupada. <laughs> because for a young man, all other people look beautiful, but he's, he, he really explained how Prabhupada looked so beautiful and um, supremely young to him that he thought he wanted to serve this person. So I just thought like how devotees, pure devotees attract to, through the way in which they talk and they appear and everything. So. Yeah, Prabhupada says that uh, something like that in the third canto of the Bhagavatam, that, that when a pure devotee smiles, uh, he melts people's hearts and he attracts many followers and disciples just by smiling. Yeah. Uh, did you have your hand? Okay, yes. Prabhu, you mentioned in the class, like Krishna says, uh, who are the devotee of my devotee, he is uh, my real devotee. So, devotee of the devotee and uh, servant of the servant, both are same or different? Yeah, same. Okay, then. thank you. The idea is that we don't try to uh, come directly. We, we, it, it's very, um, it's subtle. 
the, the way um, love works and the way uh, our approach in, in the Gaudiya Vaishnav process taught by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, subtle. There's, there are a lot of subtleties. And one of them is learning to be the, the servant of the servant. The more indirect, then, the more actually uh, there's a connection. Karanath Prabhu? After, just Karanath. In the um, in the end of Bhagavad Gita, there's a verse where uh, Sanjaya is saying, uh, "Vyasa prasadat shrutavane tad uh, guya mahang para um, yogang yogeshwarat Krishna sakshat katayata swayam." So he's saying that by the mercy of Vyas, I heard this directly from the master of yoga, Krishna himself personally and Srila Prabhupada describes there how uh, even though we hear by the mercy of our master yet it's a, the, it's, he's a transparent via medium and so the, the hearing is direct and so it's uh, that even though we're, uh, we don't directly serve Krishna um, the, the mystery of parampara is that um, the experience is direct. Nice point. I'll just read it. Um, uh, Vyas was the spiritual master of Sanjaya and Sanjaya admits that it was by Vyas's mercy that he could understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This means that one has to understand Krishna not directly but through the medium of the spiritual master. Spiritual master is the transparent medium although it is true that the experience is still direct. This is the mystery of the disciplic succession. When the spiritual master is bona fide, then one can hear Bhagavad Gita directly as Arjuna heard it. There are many mystics and yogis all over the world, but Krishna is the master of all yoga systems. Krishna's instruction is explicitly stated in Bhagavad Gita, surrender unto Krishna. One who does so is the topmost yogi. This is confirmed in the last verse of the sixth chapter, Yogi Nama Pisarvesham. Okay, you have a question. Yes, Prabhu, there's uh, one thing I noticed in the teachings of Lord Chaitanya that came to my mind during this passage. You read about the, the, the gopis um, putting the cow dung on Krishna for protection. Uh, it says here, by associating with pure devotees, one develops attraction for Krishna. There are various types of rituals and activities, some of which lead to material enjoyment, and others to material liberation. But if a living entity takes to those ritualistic activities by which pure devotional service to the Lord is developed in the association of pure devotees, then his mind naturally becomes attracted to devotional service. So uh, sometimes we hear that it's, it's dangerous to become ritualistic in our practice. But here it's being said that actually these, these rituals and proper association uh, give the desired result. So is there anything you could say? Okay, first of all, grab the dictionary, look up ritual, and just look at the etymology and the history of the word. And uh, there, uh, ritual in and of itself um, doesn't imply that uh, something is n- niyamagraha. In other words, uh, as Rupa Goswami says in the Nectar of Instruction, one um, mustn't niyamagraha give up the rules and regulations, give up the rituals, and at the same time niyamagraha, one shouldn't embrace the rituals without making advancement. You, when you embrace the rituals, you should make advancement, <laughs> not just perform them and not make advancement, or not understand what they mean and so on. Uh, do it mindlessly. And um, there must be rituals because... Um, they are um, very meaningful, actually. They're a way in which the, the, that we uh, connect with Krishna, the Artik ceremony. It's very meaningful, but if, we, you know, if we're looking at our watch while we're performing it and, and thinking when's it going to be over and so on, then we may miss the whole thing. But if we, if we enter into the beauty of it, Jaya Jaya Gora Chandra Aroti Kosho. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's like it, it, it's a it's a picture in time. Uh, you know when the deities are there. It's a kind of meditation authorized by the shastra where you have a snapshot actually of of a pastime in the spiritual world and you meditate on it constantly. And as you do so and you and you continue in that ritual, then it becomes 
fluid, actually, and you actually enter into the pastime. And uh, yes, the, the word ritual... Mantramayi upasana. Mantramayi upasana means that there's a static uh, way that you're worshiping the deity. And, of course, you, you worship the deity with a mantra. When you take initiation, the mantra um, initiation, you receive certain uh, mantras. That's why you wait until you're uh, second initiated to perform the deity worship. And that mantra, it corresponds to the, to the, to the um, deity that you're worshiping. Mantra Mayu Pasana, a kind of uh, worship, and you're seeing the the pastime in a specific way, and then it becomes uh, uh, fluid as you continue. Uh, ritual is the prescribed form or order of conducting a religious or solemn sermon, ceremony. Two, a body of prescribed ceremony. form. So this is important because Krishna himself in the Srimad Bhagavatam 11th Canto teaches Uddhava about the prescribed form of, of uh, deity worship, how to worship him in various forms. It's prescribed. It, it's not that you can just concoct anything, do whatever you like. Of course, if there's sincerity in the beginning when one's doing these kinds of uh, worship, for instance, um, our godbrother Madhusudana, his wife's name, Kanchambala describes how when she was first coming to devotional service, you know, she just had an appreciation for the fact the deity was there, or she had some deity at home, or something like that. So she would find bird feathers and things like that, and bring them home and offer them. Uh, and there's, you know, out of a kind of sincerity, just appreciation uh, in the beginning. And of course, the devotees too. When Jagannath first came, they did all kinds of crazy things in deity worship. Uh, took him outside for the Hari Nam you know, when they felt like it and things like that. And Prabhupada had to run down there and sit with Jagannath and they said, don't, don't do that again. And so it became more and more focused and uh, you could say ritualistic in a way, but there's a way in which it, it's prescribed. There's a prescribed way through this mantra maya upasana that you actually meditate on the mantra and the deity in a certain way. And when you continue to do that, then Krishna reveals himself uh, through that process. Uh, because it's prescribed, and you know the the um, so these rituals, uh, we have to enter into them deeply. This is why Rupa Goswami says niyamagraha. Don't don't neglect them and just give them up. That's whimsical. And don't also just do them because everyone else is doing it. Learn something about them. Appreciate it. Uh, see the beauty of it. You should feel it. Arotiko shobha. You should be stunned and overwhelmed with the beauty of the whole thing. When you're doing that, then you're liberated. The Prabhupada talks about this in the Bhagavatam, in the third canto, uh, about when Kapiladev s- says to his mother that my devotees, they see my smiling forms in the temple room and uh, they become overwhelmed with devotion. And Prabhupada says that even the Kanishta Adhikari is, uh, becomes a liberated soul. Even unknowingly, he comes to the temple and he just sees the deity and thinks, oh, how nice, how beautiful. Even somebody who's brand new, they don't know. They just come in and they smell the incense and the mood and the feeling and the deities smiling and they, they hear the kirtan and there's just something so otherworldly about it and, and suddenly they're transported. They become uh, transported by that ritual. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so there are more meanings over there. Two is a body of ceremonies or rites as those used in a church or fraternal organization. Also, uh, Shastra says that when you perform deity worship as an example of a ritual, uh, according to uh, uh, what is written in the Shastra, then Krishna becomes pleased and obligated because you went out of your way to do it correctly. There's a sense of devotion in that, that let me do it correctly. Later on in, in spontaneous devotional service, which we're not meant to imitate, it comes at another stage, uh, but, um, you know, the devotee may neglect certain things or lie down in the temple room because of, out of some kind of ecstasy or something like that. But in the beginning, as we perform our sadhana vidhi bhakti, according to the rules and regulations, we're not actually worshipping Radha Krishna. We're worshipping Lakshmi Narayan. As we worship Radha Krishna with these rules and regulations, they're not worshipped by rules and regulations. That's not Vraj worship. They're worshipped by spontaneous devotion. But if I think, oh, I'll, I'll do that too, I'll just, you know, 
I know Krishna, you know, I'm, I'm, we're tight, you know, I'll just skip all these things. And <laughs> I'll do the Arctic whenever I want, however I want, and whatever I feel like. Th- this is uh, called um, a uh, disturbance to society. Um, uh, verse 3. Disturbance to society means Shuti Shmiti Paranadi Pantra Triki Vidimbina Aikantiki Harer Bhaktir Upatayaiva Kalpate. If you neglect all the Pantratric rules and the Shrutis and the Smritis and just think, I'll do my own way, I'll do it my own way, <laughs> then, then it becomes a disturbance. It becomes a disturbance to society, you disturb everyone's mind and, and the whole process. So the ritual is important. Um, it's important, but if you if you think only the ritual is important and the feeling isn't important, or the the concentration on on why we're doing it isn't important, then you you come to niyamagraha. You're doing it very enthusiastically, making all kinds of circles, but uh, your mind is somewhere else completely. You're not not absorbed. Go ahead. Um, a detailed method of of procedure, faithfully or regularly followed. Faithfully or regularly followed. Yes, and this is important in ritual because the mind can be the best friend or worst enemy. And you find this out, how um, fickle is the mind when you take a vow. And you say, every day I will do fill in the blank. Whatever it is, just try it. Even the simplest thing, every day I will do this. Even if it's five seconds uh, of a vow that you'll do every day. Because the mind is so powerful, you know, after a week or two weeks, after very enthusiastically doing it every day, the mind will say, uh-uh. You say, why not? Just, nuh uh I'm just not doing it. <laughs> but it takes five seconds. Nope, not doing it. Not today, I'm not doing it. Why? I don't know. I'm just not going to do it. And the, the mind will do that. And therefore, unless we take a stand and a vow that I, I'm doing this every day, why? Because of Krishna. Uh, then... Uh, he said to do it. I'm going to do it. I made a vow. It's it's part of the ri- ritual. I'm doing it anyway, even though the mind objects. You gain spiritual strength. You overcome that uh, the whimsy of the mind, and you actually adhere to the ritual. And within that is Krishna. And then um, the origin comes from Latin ritualis of rites, riches or right. Riches. R- rituals. Riches. R- rituals or rites. Look up right. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. The, um, right? Yes. Um, the prescribed or customary form for conducting a religious or other solemn ceremony, the rite of baptism, for example. A ceremonial act or series of acts. A br- and rite is also a branch of the Christian church. Okay, some history from Kurnath Prabhu. It wasn't so much history about the Roman uh, <laughs> religion or something. I was thinking of the word like niyama, like niyama, niyama agraha, niyama, and niyamya, and uh, niyatam, niyati. We say in the Brahma Samhita, the, the controller, the regulator, niyati, the, the regulatrix. And, um, and how much it's used in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, uh, to mean like regulated karma, that one should not renounce karma falsely, but one should actually perform regulated karma in karma yoga and svabhava niyatam, one should be regulated according to one's own uh, nature or yeah, and um, propensity. And that that word, uh, one could write a whole essay on how that word is used throughout the different chapters of Bhagavad Gita, be introduced in the third chapter, that we, we should, we have to, perform some work, but we should do it um, according to prescribed duties, according to regulation, um, in order to conquer lust. Nice point. Ragadvesha vimuktais tu, atma prasadam There are regulated principles of freedom, and at various stages of life, or in various stations of life, we, um, we may have different uh, rituals or regulations to observe. Yes. I was just going to add that um, when the gopis um, prayed to Katyani to get Krishna as their husband, they were following the rituals, but it was for a good cause. Yeah. Do, do we classify that as a ritual? Yeah. 
even uh, well, their intention was to get Krishna as their husband. Prabhupada uses that in an example when, when he was asked about um, the worship of demigods and such. And he said, there's nothing wrong with the worship of demigods as long as you're innocent, your intention is to increase your service to Krishna. It's just when you see them as separate, that's all. Okay, today we've heard the pastime of Krishna killing Putana from the Srimad Bhagavatam. We've had some discussion, we had short kirtan, and now we're going to put all the books away and we're going to have a, a Guru Puja ceremony. Yes. I just wanted to share one acronym that I created today, yes. which is uh, Shiba But, which, which means chop it to bits and burn them. <laughs> Shiba But. Oh, and what was the mantra we got from the Ayurved? Ayurvedic mantra. Say again. Ashaudhi. Chintayat. Vishnu. Did you, were you here for that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Swati. This was something, you know, as a child, my father, whenever we, we used to take some medicine and, you know, I wouldn't want to take it, he used to always say that. And while I was drinking, he would say, Vishnu, Vishnu, Vishnu. So I never took it in this sense that, you know, he'll cure the disease. I always thought he'll remove the bitterness probably. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> I still have it in my mind, but I never knew the reason. I always think, you know, the, the bitterness will be gone. <laughs> so that's it. Interesting. <laughs> wow. A Karanath. In ISKCON, we were always taught that you should only eat prasadam, and prasadam should be offered to Krishna with the mantras for offering prasadam. But when you take medicine, it's not, you know, you don't offer it to Krishna, be, you know, because, uh, because it's not palatable and he's not sick and he doesn't need the medicine. <laughs> but, uh, but we would still have to uh, say Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu to sort of offer it before we took it so that we wouldn't be taking something material. That's true, but uh, interesting in, the, in studying you know, sociology of rituals and so on, that uh, there was a little mission creep on that because I remember that devotees would offer all kinds of things with Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu. <laughs> you know, it expanded from medicine Anything to... Anything they wanted to eat with it. Sour cream and dates or whatever. <laughs> Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu. And then uh, there was a way in which that you know, someone would say, "Oh, is that offered?" And just Sri Vishnu it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> talk about a shortcut. But there, so um, you have to. I just there's a way that rituals can sort of contract or expand, you know. And you have to remember what the purpose behind them is. There is, you know, in the pastime of. Um, of Jadu Thakur, when he's offered mangoes by Kalidas, he offers them in his mind, or he has his wife offer them in her, in her mind, you know, and to, to the Lord. And it's specifically mentioned there that, that he did that, and then they honored them. But um, there's always a balance, because if someone hears about that and then may, you know, take advantage of it to, to not perform the full ritual. And at the same time, you have to know the balance of when, to, when it's appropriate and when it's not appropriate and so on. That takes some maturity and spiritual intelligence. We'll end on that note. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Go pray Mananda. Now we'll put all the Shastra deities away with great care and reverence, but speediness as well, and all the asans. And... and are the Arctic trays ready for the Guru Puja? Okay, here they come, and we'll start Guru Puja right away.
Nama Shrestha Manapapi Shachi Putra Matra Sarupam Rupam Tasya Gajam Arupari Maturim Goshtavatim Radha Kundam Girivanamoho Radhika Madhavasham Prapto Yasya Pratita Kupaya Shri Gurum Tam Natosmi Shri Guru Charana Padma Kevalaba Kati Shadma Bando Mui Sava Dana Mate Bando Mui Sava Dana Mate Jahara prashare bai bhavato riya Krishna prapti hoi jaha hoi te Krishna prapti hoi jaha hoi te Guru mukha padma bhakya shite te koriya oikya Anna Kori Ho Mane Asha Anna Kori Ho Mane Asha Guru Charani Rati Eshayutama Gati Jeprashade Pure Sarva Asha Je prashare pure sarva sha Chakudan dilo je janme janme prabhu she Chakudan dilo je janme janme prabhu she Divya Gyan Hire Prokashito Divya Gyan Hire Prokashito Divya Gyan Hire Prokashito 
Yagyan Vili Prokashito Prima Bhakti Jahuite Abhijavina Sajate Prima Bhakti Jahuite Abhijavina Sajate Vidi Gai Jahara Charito Vidi Gai Jahara Charito Shri Guru Karuna Sindhu Hadama Janara Bandhu Guru Karuna Sindhu Adama Janara Bandhu Look at I, look at a Jivana Look at I, look at a Jivana Ha Prabhu Kura Doya Deha Mure Pada Chaya Prabhu Kora Doya Deha Mone Pada Chaya Look at I look at a Jivana Look at I look at a Jivana Prabhu Kora Doya Deha Mure Pada Chaya Jaya Prabhu Pada Prabhu Pada Prabhu Pada Jaya Prabhu Pada Jaya Prabhu Pai, Prabhu Pai, Prabhu Pai, Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pai, 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 Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nivishesha Shunyavari Pashatarishatarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Kali Kukur Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda
Kali kukur kadan jadi cahohe. Kali juga pavana kuli boy nashana si sachi na 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 gaohe. Gadadhar madhan nitaye pranadhan arvete prapujita gora. Nimani Bishwambar Shiniva Shishwar Bhakta Samua Chitta Chora Nadi Ashashadar Maya Purishwar Nam Pravatana Shura Vihijana Shikshaka, Nyasikula Nayaka, Malavarala Bhava Pura. Sarva Bhuma Shorana Gajapati Tharana Ramananda Poshana Vira. Pananda Bhadana Shanatana Palana Hari Das Bodana Dira Braja Rash Bhavana Dushamata Shatana Kapati Vighatana Kama Shuddha Bhakta Palana Shuksha Jnana Tadana Chala Bhakti Dushana Rama Kali Kukur Kadan Jari Chao He Kali Juga Pavana Kuli Boy Nashana Shishachi Nana Nagao Hari Araya Nama Krishna Yadavaya Nama Yadavaya Madavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Sri Madhu Sudam Dari Gopinath Madan Mohan Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Arvita Sita Hari Guru Vaishnava Bhagavata Gita Shri Rup Shri Sanatan Bhattaraguna Shri Jiva Gopal Bhattadas Raguna E Chai Gosai Kori Chanana Vandana 
Jahawite Bignana Shabishta Pura E Chai Gosai Jar Muitarda Tan Sabara Pararinu Mora Panchagra Tandara Charana Shebe Bhakta Shani Ba Chalame Janame Hoi Abila E Chai Gosai Jabe Braje Koila Ba Radha Krishna Nijalila Koila Prakash Shri Shri Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Koila Prakash Bolo Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindaban Bolo Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindaban Shri Guru Vaishnava Pari Mojumi Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pada Padma Khoriyash Hari Nam Sankirtan Khoi Narotamudas Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Govind Jai Jai Gopal Jai Jai Govind Jai Jai Gopal Jai Jai Govind Jai Jai Gopal Jai Jai Govind 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 Bajare, hey, Baja, Govinda, Gopala, Hare. Bajare, hey, Baja, Govinda, Gopala, Hare. Bajare, hey, Baja Govinda Gopala Hare, come on! Hey! Oh, Radhe Govinda, Radhe Govinda, Radhe Gopala. Radhe Gopala Radhe Gopala Hey Baja Govinda Gopala Hare Radhe Govinda Radhe Gopala Radha Shama Sundar Radha Bank Bihari Radha Madan Moha Oh Radha Madan Moha Radha Gopala Oh Radha Gopala Radha Gopina Oh Radha Gopina Radha Sham Sundar Radha Shama Sundar Radha Giri Dhari Radha Giri Dhari Radhe Govinda Radhe Govinda Radha Vrindavan Chandra Radha Vrindavan Chandra Radha Damada Oh Radha Damada Radha Kunja Bihari Oh Radha Kunja Bihari Radhe Govinda Radhe Govinda Radha Govinda Radha Madan Moha Oh Radha Madan Moha Radha Natabara Radha Natabara Radha Gokulananda Oh Radha Gokulananda Radha Govinda Radha Govinda Radha Shama Sunda Oh Radha Shama Sunda Radha Rasvihari Radha Rasvihari Kishore Kishore Oh Kishore Kishore Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radha Gopi Janavala Radha Gokulananda Radha Bhakti Bihari Radha Bhakti Bihari Radha Madan Moha Radha Madan Moha Radha Nila Madhava Radha Giri Dhari Radha Giri Dhari Radha Madan Gopa Radha Madan Gopa Hey! 
बाजरे हे बाजा गोविंदा गोपाल हरे आशे श्री भगवान को मेरे बारंबार प्रणाम है आशे श्री भगवान को मेरे बारंबार प्रण आशे श्री ज्ञान श्याम को मेरे बारंबार प्रणाम है आय से श्री ज्ञान श्याम को मेरे पारम पार नाम है बंदे मिठाई गोरा हरी बोल हरी बोल हरी बोल थाई गोर हरी बो Thai gol, hari bol, hari bol, hari bol, Thai gol, hari bol. Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Boram Hamsa Pri Raj, Yuka Chai Jashto, Taras the Shishi Mada, Pai Charanada, Vinda Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, Shila Prabhaki. Jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Boram Hamsa Pri Raj, Yuka Chai Jashto, Taras the Shishi Mada. Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Gosai Maharaj ki jai. Ananta Kulti Vaishnav Indi ki jai. Namachari Shila Haridas Thakur ki. Prems Gaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasri Gaur Bhakti Vrindi ki. Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gogopi Na Shamkun Radhakun Giri Govardhan ki. Shri Vrindavan Dham ki. Shri Mayapur Navadip Dham ki. Shri Jagannath Puri ki. New Jagannath Puri ki. Tulsi Devi Bhakti Devi ki. Jamuna Devi Ganga Devi ki. Samaveta Bhakti Vrindi ki. Bring the Jamuna back to Vrindavan right now ki. All glories to some of the votees. All glories to some of the votees. All glories to some of the votees. Go pray, man, and Aribo. We welcome everyone to ISV. ISV stands for International Society for Krishna Consciousness of Silicon Valley. And our mission here is to serve all living beings by widely spreading the holy names of the Lord. We have very specific dedication to expanding the Sankirtan movement of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, as he presented it 500 years ago through his disciples and have continued to pass down the tradition through their disciples and the founder acharya of our organization is this Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada who set... Um, this uh, great movement in the West into motion, and we're following in his footsteps. And we'd like to welcome all those who may be here for the first time. Anybody here? First time? <laughs> Please introduce yourself and tell us what brought you here. Uh, I just uh, got a job in McAfee here in Santa Clara. So uh, I recently finished my master's. Security. Yeah. Security software. <laughs> Antivirus. Yeah, we can use some help. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> sure. Uh, I just finished my master's in uh, Villanova in uh, Villanova. <laughs> so just got in here uh, on November 1st. So after that, I didn't uh, find time to uh, look at the temples nearby. So uh, today, uh, I've, uh, I've been looking for temples around, uh, nearby and... Uh, Found this one, so came down here. Okay, you're hired. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> We're very, very happy to have you here. Thank you. Uh, nothing happens by accident in this world. Krishna is in the heart of everyone, directing them, and uh, we we thank Krishna for directing you here today. And your good name? Sai. Sai. That's easy to remember. Yeah. Let's hear it for Sai. Welcome. Yeah. My pleasure. So, yes. Damodar Vamsidari will uh, acquaint you with all our programs and things, and. Uh, Please uh, come back and visit us regularly. There's a lot to do here. It looks like a, a small area, but it expands outwardly all over Silicon Valley uh, through service and all kinds of things. What, where are you from in India? Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Okay. A few of us here from Hyderabad. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, very good. And anyone else here for the first time? Second time? First time. Yes, welcome. Uh, would you mind introducing yourself? You're from, let me guess, you're from the Midwest somewhere. Detroit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Radha Kunjabi Hari gave you away, I'm sorry. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> why. Yes, yeah. that's why. Yeah. Go right ahead. It's, I've been here six and a half years ago. It's the second time. Okay. And I was just visiting here, so I figured I'll come here. Uh, and second last time's month. even better. Let's hear it for the yeah. second time. Yeah. Yeah. How is everyone in, uh, in Detroit? In the, in About 24 years. And, uh, and how is everyone doing there? How are all the devotees in Detroit? Good, good, good. Nice. Last month I was in India. So I was in uh, Juhu Temple a couple of times and I then see. Vrindavan a couple of times and uh, all different places. The first time I went to ISKCON, 1971 in Brooklyn, oh, in, a, in, a, in a house, Henry in a, a basement. Oh, boy. And then the temple was moved to Manhattan, and we used to go there. Yes. But 71 was the uh, beginning, and never, ever missed any, uh, any place uh, in the U.S. or anywhere in the world where I travel. Uh, I find this temple, and I go there. And, uh, and no, my father did, but I didn't. You were a young every man time I then. tried to do it, I missed. 1971, you, you were a young man, um, a young boy. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. <laughs> you're still um, a young man. You're a little boy. Well, pretty soon uh, next week I'll be 69 years old. Is that right? Yes. yes we don't yes. believe it. <laughs> but Wow. Well, please come celebrate your birthday here. Uh, I'll try can. to do that. Otherwise, we'll all come out there. All right. <laughs> very happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank Ed. you very much. And your How name? You I have all that. We've forgotten after six and a half years. What is your good name? My name is Harish. Harish Bhatt. Harish, Harish. Yeah. Take a packet. You have all these books distributed on your way. Just about all Give it to someone. It's your My son has homework. it. My daughter has it. I have it. Okay, so as you're the, traveling. Um, you have, there's your duty through the airport. You give it to yeah, somebody. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Give it to the ticket agent. Right now, okay. uh, right now it's Gita. Uh, We're going to count you as part of our uh, end of the year marathon. Yeah. Put Harish's name down. He distributed four books. Harish. 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 Thank you very much. Yes, Harish, Hi, more? Harish. Hello? Oh, no. Uh, this month, uh, or One last second, month, Bumi. it was Gita Jayanti in India. Gita Jayanti. And everywhere, uh, everywhere you go, any temple, that's what they're promoting. A lot of Gitas. So we try to do that. A good idea, a good yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah, I see boxes there. Yeah. 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 Telltale sign, huh? Yeah. Only we almost have them here all year long, so. <laughs> Abumi, you had something to add? Yeah, I want to say a big hurry bowl to um, the Prabhu from um, who came to Brooklyn and in the basement in 1971, because that's where I joined, too. Yeah. Hari bowl. <laughs> nice. Abumi, yeah. Yeah, it's a, there it was a gray color house uh, and in the basement. And then... From there on, it was uh, totally different. Yeah. yeah. Things changed. Yeah. Well, we're trying to preserve yeah, I the... Think, uh, Henry Street that you came? She's asking if it's Henry Street you joined. I, I think it was Henry Street. Yes, Henry it's, Street. It's been many years ago. Uh, that yeah, was so. the temple in Brooklyn in 1971 yeah. on Henry Street. But it is a house exactly. with a gray, gray color basement. Exactly. Yeah, so that's it. And then I've been in Barcelona, in Coventry, in Budapest. I mean, any, anywhere I go, I, see. I find it. Nice. And it's all possible. Anywhere you yes. go, you can find a temple now. I, uh, I retired and then uh, I unretired myself this week again. <laughs> so I'm here on business. But Krishna is life. All right. You know. Thank you. Yes, and one more. Hi, uh, my name is Nippon. Uh, I'm a student at Stanford. Yes, yeah. Nippon from Stanford. Bravo. We like students from Stanford. Yeah, so I have a couple of friends who have been associated with the ISKCON for some while. So I thought I'll pay some pay a visit and get involved with the community and see. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. We're so happy to hear that. Thank you. What is your major? Uh, it's called Management Science. Yes. Yeah. Come on in. We'd like to hear from you about many subjects. 
Okay, very good. You came at a good time. Management is always needed for expanding an organization, and we'd like to hear about the science behind it. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? Well, uh, this morning we had some cooks in the kitchen. We've kept their identities secret until this very moment, but we're going to reveal who they are. Bhakta Vatsal and Hansa Priya. Is that correct? Bhakta Vatsal? For the morning program, he cooked. And Hansa Priya is already cooking for the next program. <laughs> so let's uh, have a hand for the cooks. <laughs> Any other announcements? Sharira Vijaja. Jodendriya Tahika. Jibay Bilivishai Shagare. Dharma J. Jivayati. Loba Mai Sadurmati. Take Jeta Katina Shangshare. Krishna Bodo Doyamoy. Bodi Bari Jihajai. Swa Prasad Nanadi Lubai. Shayanam Rita Pau. Radha Krishna Gunagao, Premi Dako Chaitanya Nita. So we're glorifying the process of taking prasadam because um, normally the senses are a network as a path leading to death. They simply drag us through the cycle of uh, samsara because uh, of the senses are very strong and of all of them the tongue is the most difficult to control. But Krishna is very kind. He's given us a way to control the tongue by giving his mercy through the food that we eat, his prasadam. He appears in that form. And so we're glorifying Radha and Krishna, calling for the help of, of their lordships, uh, um, and also calling out in love the names of Chaitanya Nitai as we honor the prasad today, which we're going to serve right in this very room. Um, our Pujari, Ramananda Sakaprabhu, will close the curtains and then we'll, we'll serve the prasadam here so everyone can line up. Yes. Ruji, I wanted to share something about the, um, the prasadam prayer. Um, the Ekadina Shanti Pure prayer. Um, about uh, three years ago when we went to Mayapur, we were in Shantipur. And um, we all sat down there. And um, uh, I think only devotees from ISV are the only one who knew this prayer about Ekadina Shanti Pure. <laughs> And um, it was so nice that we were sitting in the courtyard there in Advaita Acharya's house. And in that courtyard, we were actually singing this Ekadina Shanti Pure. Wow. And devotees were so, um, they wanted to know, what is this prayer? I want to learn. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it was so nice that how Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda were sitting in that courtyard. And they were taking prasadam. And Lord Gauranga was tasting the shark. And he was saying, he was tasting the shark and he was saying, this shark is so tasty and, uh, you know, you all should have it. And um, since then, I had such a deep uh, attachment to shark because, um, I mean, when I went to Shai, Shantipur, it was so powerful. Wow. And, um, and uh, Lord Goranga is saying, take this shark, fill your heart with love for Krishna. And then, you know, and loudly chant the names of Krishna. And... Um, I still remember this day, whenever I chant this prayer, I remember Shantipur <laughs> and the big courtyard there, the beautiful gardens, beautiful trees. And in the midst of everybody, in, in midst of all these things, Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda and Advaita Acharya were there taking prasadam. This is an example of how our kind of sadhana or practice works. Because we're not practicing the rules and regulations simply to fo follow some ritual, but as we go through these prayers and we take prasadam in a certain way, we're, uh, through proximity, we're keeping close to all those um, w w st stimuli for loving Krishna. These are called udipana. There are, there are um, various um, stimulators which awaken our love for Krishna. And in our practice of Krishna consciousness, we stay close to those. The prayers we sing, the places we visit, the, the way we organize our temple and so forth, they're meant so that we can see Krishna, hear Krishna, taste Krishna. And that awakens love spontaneous with, within the heart. One of the, um, we'll notice throughout the Chaitanya Charitamrita, there's a great uh, outpouring of emotion for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
uh, from all the devotees, especially through cooking. Raghava Pandit, uh, Cook, Damayanti, um, all the devotees were always clamoring to cook for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when they would cook all kinds of wonderful preparations and he would honor them. And, and the devotees would sit together and honor Prashadam out of love. And there were very specific preparations like mentioned here, Mochaganta Pula Bhadi, Dali Dalna Chachadi, Sachi Mata. So the, all these, these are particular preparations that were enjoyed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and shock. And uh, as it's talking to... Um, Tukaram Prabhu, he's the temple president in Laguna Beach, California. Uh, very, very um, Paka devotee and uh, very Shastric and also a very intense sadhaka. And when he was in Mayapur last year, he came back and he was telling me how he wants to dedicate himself to, to eating all this Bengali food. Uh, getting ready for his next, uh, his next uh, body in, in Chaitanya's Leela, where they... <laughs> where they take these sort of things. And this is a kind of sadhana, that we, we, we cook these certain things for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he, that he loved, and we honor them in the same spirit as we're hearing in these prayers. And as Malini was saying, she has now permanently in her heart this kind of feeling for shock. And she remembers that moment sitting in the courtyard of Advaitacharya's Prabhu's house, taking this prasadam. And this is uh, how bhakti awakens through the practice of this kind of sadhana. Uh, relating with all the things that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu loved and touched and appreciated and things like that. And therefore, in these prayers, Shuddha Bhakta Charana Renu, uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, we will visit all the places that were appreciated and loved by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because when we go there, these things happen. And you have a moment where you feel the ecstasy and it stays with you forever. You'll never lose that. And we simply accumulate these experiences over and over again. And then, of course, and when we leave this body, antakale chama meva smaran muktva kalevaram yaprayati samad bhavam yati nashtyatrashangshaya. That bhavam, that feeling for Krishna, it just naturally will pour out. And all the experiences throughout our life like this will be present and that uh, will carry us next life. We'll be sitting actually in a spiritual body in the courtyard of Advaita Acharya. All this book distribution you're doing, all this going to the Dom, coming and going, this is uh, uh, an, a, a very, very um, powerful, all-consuming kind of sadhana that will carry you to the spiritual world. The next life, you'll be in that place where the Sankirtan movement is going on, where Mahaprabhu is ordering his servants to go out and, and preach door-to-door -door and come back, and then they have big Sankirtan festivals. You'll dance and see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in person just from, from the, the dedication you're doing. Prabhupada told the devotees from their dedication to the Sankirtan that they will come to see the Lord face to face. This is a practical thing. It's, it's, act, it's actually this movement, of the way it's set up and everything we're doing is taking us back to Godhead. There's no doubt about it. It's an authorized process. And it's full of juice, full of sweetness. And the more we get that, those feelings, the more the, naturally, if you have a, a feeling for it taking shock in the courtyard of, of Advaita Charya Prabhu's house, you're no longer interested in, in the, the so-called palatable things of this world. They're simply dead, uninteresting. Not, there's no even consideration of them. So we should fill up our whole lives with these things. Ekadina shanti pure Prabhu Advaita gare Dui Prabhu Bojane Boshilo Shakori Ashwadana Prabhu Bole Bhakta Gana Esha Krishna Ashwadilo Heno Shakashwadane Krishna Prema Aishe Mane She Preme Toro Ashradhar Jada Buddhi Pari Hari Prasarabu Jana Kori Hari Hari Bolo Sarva Jaha Pare Sachi Rangani Kabu Madhavendra Puri Prabhu 
Prasadanakorenabojanaitekaitetara Dali dalna chachari Sachi mata Kori lorandan Tara shuda bhakti eri Bojana kori lohari Shuda sama Eyanam bhyanjan Jogi jogi pai jaha Boge ajha betaha Hari boli kao sabe ba Krishnera prasarana Sri jagat kori danya Chipurari nache jaha pa Chipurari Nache jaha pa Ma prasari govinde nam pramani vaishnave Swapa punya vatam rajan vishta so navijaya Prasari savadhuka nam hani rasi opajayate Prasana cheta so yashu bhuri paya vatishate Bhagavad Shri Mahaprasada Ki Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki Shri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Gope Manande Nitai Gora Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Nitai Gora Hari Bol Please come take prasadam, Haribo. Paula Prabhu is back. Haribo. Haribo.